Okay, so we are here testing out the Zero Water filtration pitcher system. And according to the box of Zero Water, um, it is going to have 000 um, dissolved solids rather than 115 for the conventional water filter. And this also includes lead. It's one of the only water filters, or I think the only water filter on the market right now that will take out that much lead in, see, the only certified to take out lead and chromium. So there we go. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take some water from our current existing refrigerator unit. Get about two or more inches in there. And as you can see from opening up, this is an in-refrigerator water filter. And this is GE Smart Water Filtration. All right, so that GE Smart Water Filtration System in our refrigerator was just bought about three or four weeks ago. It is supposed to last about six months. So this Zero Water Filtration System, uh, this comes with this handy dandy gadget. And this is what you use to see how many solid particles are in your water. So you take off the cap and then you click it on. Okay, so you see the zero, zero. And now we're supposed to put it in the water and then let it stabilize. Okay, that's kind of shocking. It's at least over 130, which is more than what the conventional filtered water one is saying. So again, that was, oh, let's put it back in. So you can see it is reading according to this filter 139, 140, going back and forth, but roughly around what, over 130. Um, and that is using our conventional water filter. Now let's filter some water with zero water and see what happens. All right, and just to get a comparable reading, we are also gonna get some tap water and do that reading. So, alrighty. Let's bring it over here. And again, we're gonna use this TDS system. Um, turn it on. And stick it in. Oh my goodness, that is actually much higher. Uh, roughly about 165 is what the reading is right now, and that is the tap water in Orlando, Florida. So this is the big water filter that comes with the zero uh, water pitcher system. And this is interesting. This is a picture of it. And actually it says replace filter when tester reads uh, 006. And as you can see, my filter right now is giving a reading of 147 in the water. So it'd be interesting to see exactly what this is going to do. So now we're going to add water into the reservoir. All right, so we filtered about half of a water pitcher full of water, and this is the first time using this, so let's pour some in. All righty, and this is gonna be interesting. I'm kind of excited to see what it's gonna do. So once again, it's not on. Turn it on, starts to zero, and put that in. Oh my god <laughs> yeah it's like it's in okay let me make sure because this is kind of surprising the actual reading is zero there <laughs> there is that little particulates in the water that the reading is zero where my other water filter was one well over 130 and tap water was one over 160 that is pretty f that's pretty freaking cool i mean come on people that is amazing. Yeah, this is a winner right here.